that morning to you. I am the light of the world, declared Jesus. But he also said, you are the light of the world. A paradox, or perhaps insight, into the essential unity between Christ and creation that forms the foundation of the mystical life. The light that shines in us is the light of Christ shining through us. This is not something we have to make happen. It is something we must allow to happen. Not something we achieve, something we receive. Yet to bask in that Christ light within, we need to open ourselves to receive it. The sunflower turns over the course of the day so that its blossom always faces the sun. Likewise, mystics continually recalibrate their lives to embrace this divine light. Illumination may come from within, but its source is heavenly. That's Carl McCollman. The silence that you're basking in right now may come from within, but its source is heavenly. Close your eyes and enter it. James Bean said, when we close our physical eyes, we see darkness inside. But as we cross this void of darkness, following the meditation practices of the saints, there is light. Beyond the silence, there is sound. The Word, or the Holy Spirit, or the soul current of consciousness. Solon Singh said it's the celestial melody, the life current which originates from the Lord and pervades everything. He said the Lord creates and sustains the entire universe through this great current of power, which are like radio waves filling all space with divine music, a string which connects everyone and everything with the Lord. That's how it sounds here. Like love plucked the thinnest string on the harp eons ago, and it's still sounding, echoing, whispering. I've issued forth from a great power and visit all who contemplate me. I've been discovered by those who search diligently. Pay attention, those that meditate upon me and listen well. All of you who are patiently waiting, Take me to yourself. Don't dismiss me from your mind and don't let your inner voices despise me. Don't forget me at any time or place. Be watchful. I am the first and the last. I am both respected and ignored. I am both harlot and holy. I am wife and virgin, mother and daughter. Organs of my mother barren, yet many are my sons. I am she whose marriage is auspicious, but I am husbandless. I am the midwife who doesn't carry the balm of birth pains. I am bride and groom, sired by my spouse. I am mother of my father, sister of my husband, and he's my son. I am slave of he who anointed me. I am ruler of my children, but he is the one. From whom I was born. He shall be my son in time. My strength is from him. I am the rod of his potency and his youthful virility, and he is the staff of my old age. Whatever he wills happens. I am the unfathomable silence and the thought that comes often, the voice of the sound and the word that appears frequently. I am the meaning of my name. Those who are close don't know me. When you are near, I am distant. On the day you're distant, I am close. I am within, in your heart. I am your true nature, the creativity of yourself. That's from the Nag Hammadi text, translated by Alan Jacobs. He said it's a unique, Gnostic revelation by a mysterious female deity 
who stressed the importance of the essential I amness, also known as the perfect mind or the no mind. Listen to it again, but this time as if it's you speaking about yourself, revealing yourself to yourself, telling your own story. Remember, when you feel love or hear silence, you're still not there because you're there to feel it, to hear it. In the beginning, the silent love feels separate from what you are, like it is something that has come, like it is something that you have discovered, like it is something that you can observe, that you can lose awareness of. But this shift is happening, whether you know it or not, from you and that to you as that. And then there's only that sounding, and everything else appears to be happening in that. If you have some last minute shopping to do today, I want you to remember my words. When you find yourself in that line, find this piece in that line. Find your smile in that line. Remember this truth in that line, and it'll relax your shoulders, it'll relax your stomach, It'll relax the belief that you're the one standing in line. That line is happening in you. The store is happening in you. And then you're the light of that store. Keep catching yourself and letting yourself go, catching yourself and letting yourself go, catching yourself, believing in the world, catching yourself, believing in others, catching yourself in fear, catching yourself in worry, catching yourself pretending to be what you're not. Affirm to yourself what Jesus revealed in Matthew 5, 14. I am the light of the world. Say that until you know that. And if it feels wrong or not quite true, place that is in there strategically. I am is the light of the world. The I am that I'm aware of that I can feel, that I can hear, is the light of the world. I am is the light of the world. And you say that one and allow it to guide you to the experience until you can be the experience without even needing to say it. Just radiating brilliantly, letting the shadow of your karmas, of your past, fade as brightness you are as brightness you're being right now, and now, and now, that smile is the brightness of your future. It's the promise, the presence of your future now. That's grace, amazing grace. How sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. I love you, and we'll chat soon. If this episode helped you feel good, helped you feel God, then leave a review on Apple Podcasts and screenshot it and send it to me for a free gift. And follow me on Patreon so I can see you, so I can see your smile.